Hey, welcome YouTube. Welcome back to another Windows tutorial. So this tutorial is going to be based off a Windows exploit that I like to go ahead and call log me in. Now this exploit doesn't necessarily log you in. It just gives you access to a few tools within Windows OS like internet browsing, um, some folders and and etc. And it just basically sets you up with a temporary user profile service and gives you access to these uh, little goodies that we're all used to using anyways. So if you happen to forget your password um, and you can't log in but you want to go and check your email, this would be the right exploit for you. So better being safe than sorry I would always say or having a backup plan, this would be it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it. Alright, stay tuned. Okay, so hypothetically uh, saying we are uh, locked out of our computer or just say that we are password protected and we can't get in because we forgot our password or we want to gain control to another computer. But uh, let's go ahead and just show the result. Now on my keyboard all I have to do is just press um, shift on my keyboard five times so one two three four five and that'll pop up right here. Now this is a command line prompt and it's uh, currently on the directory of C Windows System 32. All I have to do is just type in explore.exe which I will go ahead and do right now. Explore.exe and once that's inputted I want to go ahead and press return on my keyboard and what's going to happen is this. Yeah the start menu if you guys can see it the start menu is now available all the way down to there giving you access and the time of course um, to the internet now let's go ahead and say if I wanted to go onto the internet and press right here that window will pop up and Let's just go ahead and go to, I don't know, uh, neowin.net. And while still on the logon screen, I have access, access to the internet. Now, let's go ahead and minimize that. Um, and yeah, so that's exactly what you can do. You can still access the internet while still being locked out of your computer. If you wanted to go to, I don't know, Yahoo uh, Mail or Google Gmail, go ahead and do that. Now, the only problem I see right here is if I were to go into computer, I don't believe I can have access to it, um, which is a bit of a, 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 how would you say, a peeve of mine, because what if I wanted to go ahead and access a particular document? I still can't. Um, if I were to go over here, I can't. If I were to right click on computer, um, I still can't. Um, not wondering why. Uh, I'm sure there's other ways to get to it, but this basic tutorial or overview is just an overview on how to basically access the internet. Yeah, so that's my tutorial um, or overview for it and the results. I'm going to show you how to do it and enter a uh, command line registry uh, thingamajiggy. Yeah, so stay tuned for that too. Alright, hold on. Okay, so we're back in the desktop and I'm going to show you the uh, command on how to do it. So on your start button, what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and click on run. Once after you click on one, you want to go ahead and cl uh, type in cmd, then press OK. After that, once you get to the command line prompt, all you have to do is just paste uh, what I have in the show more tab and uh, do take notice that this is in the show more tab and you only copy what you just got through seeing right now. So when you open your command line prompt and you had to copy that, right click on your mouse inside the command line prompt and press paste. If yours looks like mine, including the parentheses, um, you want to go ahead and press return. Now, it's going to go ahead and say that it did it successfully, like that, the operation completed successfully, and you're set. That's all you have to do. 
Now, go ahead and lock up your computer by going to the start button, pressing uh, lock, and then pressing shift five times to see if it worked. And if it worked, just go ahead and do what I told you before. Type in explore.exe, press return, and the uh, taskbar will show up, and you're set. So if you ever were to be locked out of your computer, and you even want to go on the internet to look how to recover your password, this would be the key to do it. So uh, until next time, I hope you guys like this video, and goodbye.